Hello students, welcome to our YouTube channel Time for Education. I bring you yet another video on vocabulary building. The topic for the day is suffix success, enhancing word endings. So for all of you who have been following my videos, you may be aware of what affixes are. And this is about one of the two affixes which we call suffixes. So what exactly is a suffix and what does it do? A suffix is a group of letters that is added to the tail end of a word. And when it is added to a word, it brings about a change in the meaning or the grammatical function of the word. Please like, follow and subscribe to all our channels because to our, all our videos on the channel because they will give you continuity and a better idea of topics that we discuss on a daily basis. Now going further, so I told you that a suffix is a group of letters which is added to the tail end of a word and then we would want to know what exactly these groups of letters are. So take a look, there are so many of them and you may certainly be aware of them but this video will give you further clarity on suffixes and if you remember use and apply this knowledge to whatever you are reading to a word that you come across in the process of reading then you will be able to understand that word in a better way. So here are the many endings or suffixes that float around in the English language. Take a look and let's understand them better. So I mentioned that a suffix brings about a change in the grammatical function of the word to which it is attached. Now what kind of changes are they? Let's take a further look and understand them. So change in word class which means the part of speech of that word to which a suffix is attached changes. Now, how does this happen? We have these four categories of suffixes, noun suffixes, adjective suffixes, adverb suffixes and verb suffixes. Noun suffixes convert words into nouns in the sense that the suffix when attached to a word changes the part of speech of that word from its previous one to a noun. Here's an example. Happy is an adjective and when ness, the suffix is added to happy, the word becomes happiness and we're all aware that happiness is a noun. Then we have adjective suffixes which convert words into adjectives. Take a look at this example. So, care is a word. What is it? It's a noun. And when full is added to it, then it changes from a noun to an adjective. Careful is an adjective. There are many such examples. Please stop and, uh, and understand them. When you have this understanding, it will make it easier for you to look at those words and find out what kind of changes suffixes have introduced to them. Adverb suffixes convert words into adverbs. For example, we have the word quick, which is an adjective. And when ly, the adverb suffix is added to it, then it becomes an adverb quickly. Verb suffixes convert words into verbs. Active is an adjective and activate ate when added to it makes it a verb okay so i hope this is clear and you do now have some idea as to what kind of um, changes suffixes introduce to words let's check out something more they also introduce a change in meaning to the word to which they are attached how does this happen we have the same kinds of affixes uh, noun suffixes. Now noun suffixes do not just uh, change the part of speech of a word, they also indicate a specific type or category. For example, er in writer indicates someone who writes. So writer is a reference to a person and here the meaning also has changed and it is not just the part of speech that, that becomes different. Similarly, 
adjective suffixes can describe characteristics or qualities because that is exactly what an adjective is for in the English language. For example, when the suffix O-U-S is added to the word, to the noun danger, it becomes dangerous and dangerous describes a likelihood of causing harm. Somebody who has the likelihood or possibility of causing harm. Then adverb suffixes indicate the manner, place, time or degree of an action. Example, we just took a look at the word quickly. Now, when ly is added to quickly, it shows how something is done. So, how something is done, you end up saying quickly and that is what the adverb quickly uh, denotes or the function of the word changes from the earlier uh, in this case adjective to an adverb and now it tells you not what the word is or how the word is but how things are done okay then verb suffixes indicate the action or process so when for example iffy the suffix is added to simple which is an adjective, it changes to simplify, which means to make simple. So, this is an example of a verb suffix, which uh, does not just make a verb uh, out of the uh, word which existed earlier by the addition of this suffix, but also introduces a change in the meaning of the newly formed word. Okay. There is more to come. We have change in intensity or degree that is also brought about by the addition of any kind of suffix, the same ones, noun suffixes, adjective, adverb and verb suffixes. So, sometimes noun suffixes imply an amount or excess. For example, when we add ness to dark and make it darkness, then the word darkness refers to the state of being dark. So, here we understand the extent of something. Adjective suffixes can modify the intensity or degree of a quality. For example, let us take a look at the word fool. Okay, a fool when we uh, address somebody as a fool, it means we are using a noun. Okay, now we add ish to this noun and it becomes an adjective. This indicates a moderate degree of foolishness. Then we have a verb suffix, uh, sorry, an adverb suffix which often denotes the degree of frequency of something. For example, when we add ly to the adjective frequent, it becomes frequently and frequently indicates how often something is done. Verb suffixes can sometimes suggest the process or effect of whatever they, uh, the change they bring about. For example, when we add en to the word length, it becomes lengthen. Now, what is lengthen and what does it mean? It implies the process of making something longer. So, it is an action and it is not just that the part of speech has changed, it has a different meaning and what exactly the meaning is, what is the intensity or the strength of the word thus created is also something uh, that is important that we need to consider and suffixes help us bring that about. Okay. Then creation of uh, specific forms. This is another function of suffixes. So, we have in noun suffixes uh, those that create specific roles, objects or concepts. Again, we uh, I have taken the example of a very common suffix meant. Okay. Now, what does it do? If we add meant to the verb achieve, then we get the noun achievement. Now, this word denotes the result of achieving something. So, here it creates a specific role, object or concept, okay, depending on what the word is about. Similarly, adjective suffixes specify particular traits, characteristics or types. For example, al in the word personal specifies a type of quality pertaining or relating to a person. Adverb suffixes just 
do not do whatever I have discussed with you so far. There is something more that they do. They define how, when or where something happens and this example will help you understand it better. So, we take the word length and add wise to it. What do we get? Lengthwise. Lengthwise indicates a direction or manner. So, what has this word done? or what has the addition of the suffix wise to this word created. It has created a different word and it the word defines uh, the direction of manner. So, it actually defines how, when or where something happens and this is one of the examples of this category or this function of a suffix. Then a verb suffix also specifies the action or transformation. For example, a T E in educate. What does it do? It specifies the action of providing education. Okay, so these were a few examples that I took over here to help you understand what suffixes are, what they do and how they help us understand the meaning of any word in a better way. So, please take a note of them, pause and consider them properly and keep in mind whether uh, you know the type of suffixes and also try to identify suffixes when you come across them in the process of reading. Now, I have something more for you so that you have greater clarity. There are noun suffixes which end with ment, uh, shun, ness, ity or er. So, whenever the group of letters m e n t ment is added to the end of a word it gives rise to a noun and for that reason it's called a noun suffix achievement development etc are two examples which this addition creates then we have shun the examples are creation and operation ness for example happiness kindness then I, T, Y, we have activity and ability and so many more. And E, R is teacher, writer, etc. So, here are just a few examples to help you understand them and of course to enable you to identify them as noun suffixes when you come across them. What more? Let me take you to adjective suffixes. So, adjective suffixes are f-u-l, o-u-s, a-b-l-e, i-v-e and a-l as a few examples. When we add f-u-l to the end of a word, we get words like joyful, careful, etc. When we add o-u-s, we get words like curious, dangerous, a-b-l-e, readable, manageable, capable, I-V-E, creative, passive, active, A-L, national, personal, etc. Then there are these examples of adverb suffixes. I already have told you L-Y. A little while earlier, L-Y gives rise to words like quickly, happily, uh, naughtily, etc. Then W-A-R-D form words like forward, backward, wise, gives rise to words like otherwise, clockwise and anti-clockwise also, fold, twofold, manifold, I-N-G-L-Y, frighteningly, confusingly, etc. Okay, I hope you are following me and this is giving you a lot of understanding of suffixes as well. Then we have verb suffixes in the form of I-Z-E, A-T-E, E-N, I-F-Y, I am sorry, yeah, these are the examples that I have under this class. So, I, Z, E, we have realize, organize, A, T, E, activate, create, E, N, strengthen, brighten, lengthen, I, F, I, clarify and intensify. Okay, so with this, I come to the end of this video and I hope this video has given you enough uh, understanding of suffixes. I hope you will utilize this and you will improve on your vocab. So, uh, before I end, I reiterate, please like, follow and subscribe to our channel, Time for Education. Keep up with the practice. All the best. Thank you.